Hey guys, it's Sid, and I've missed you. So the past two hours, I've kind of gone through my entire apartment to really think about and find my current favorite products for you guys. They're currently all in front of me right now. It's kind of a mess down here, but I'll just show you guys. This is my POV right now. I love these videos so much, but I usually see them on TikTok. That's kind of where I got this original idea. I'll always be a YouTube girl at heart. As much as I do love TikTok sometimes, it's always gonna come back here. So you know where to find me. <laughs> Wow, honestly, I really do feel, I feel very self-absorbed titling each category. How does your hair look so good? How does your skin look so good? Like, I honestly don't even remember the last time someone asked me that. Like, I, sh I don't know why I'm making this. First things first, I wanted to show you guys this hair oil. This is the Honey Infused Hair Oil by Jisau. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be worth the hype because when I tried this brand's lip oil, I really didn't care for it. I was kind of skeptical, but this is actually just a really nice go-to hair oil. On days that it's like day two or day three, I'll just slick this in my hair. It makes my hair a little softer, healthier. I'm very particular about my hairsprays. I don't like it when it's like crunchy. I used to call it hay hair, the crunchy hairspray feeling that looks like hay from a farm. This hairspray is just really light and it holds my hair without giving that crunchy hay hair look. I also have been loving their detangler. My hair gets super tangled. I have to use a detangler after the shower every time and I've been reaching for this one a lot. So next, I've been loving this triple bond complex from Living Proof. You use it after you shower and like right before you blow dry. It makes my hair look extra full. I feel like it's been kind of helping my like split ends. I don't know if that's just like in my head. And then lastly, this is actually a hair tool. I really wanted to share this because you guys know I love the Dyson, but the Dyson is obviously incredibly expensive. And this Revlon curling wand is so underrated. I feel like my friend actually showed me this when I was visiting her because she was using it in the morning and her hair looked so good after she used it. So I was like, wait, can I try it? She sent me the link on Amazon. And then ever since then I've been using it. I usually just do the ends with this and I kind of just curl it under and hold it, but it creates really nice loose waves, not tight curls. And it's, I think it's $20 on Amazon. <laughs> You guys know how much I care about smelling good. Firstly, I'm gonna start with this body wash. This is the Method Rice Milk Coconut Body Wash. It's pretty inexpensive and it smells just really light and sweet, like barely sweet. I'm actually, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm almost out of it. I think you can get it at Target. You guys also know, if you watched my Sephora video, I recently got a new deodorant and this is the one by Salt and Stone. I got the scent Santal and vetiver. It's neutral enough that it doesn't mix with my perfumes. Cause I don't like with my deodorants too strong that it like offsets the perfume I'm wearing and it mixes weird. What I really like though is that it's an aluminum free deodorant. I've never really tried natural stuff like this because it does scare me a little bit if it's like not gonna work. But so far it's been working. I have a new favorite perfume. So I actually did a little experiment. I was with one of my friends and we both like blindfolded each other and we held up a few different perfumes and smelled them. We picked our favorite and we both ended up picking this one as our favorite. This is the My Euphoria Calvin Klein perfume. It smells so cozy but also feminine and like sexy and also a bit florally. I just feel like it has the perfect combination of notes, especially after that little experiment that we did. This is the scent that I want to be known as. You guys know I like when I have like my signature scent and right now it's definitely this one. It's very important to me for my identity. Lastly, if you guys follow me, you guys know I've been getting in to hair perfumes. For a while, I thought that you could just spray your normal perfume in your hair. And I actually asked you guys this in my video and a few of you guys commented saying that you actually aren't supposed to because the chemicals in normal perfumes aren't good for your hair. So they specifically make hair perfumes so that way you can spray your hair. These are the two that I've been using. I just got this one super recently. This is the Chanel hair perfume and my mom was nice enough to get this for me. It smells very expensive. I mean, obviously it's Chanel, but it is pretty strong. So I usually only do one spray because it definitely goes a long way. I also really love this one. This is the, I'm not even gonna say it, this brand, their hair perfume. This one's completely different. It smells a lot lighter and it has a sweet honey scent to it. And this one, I definitely spray a bit more. Even if no one else notices, I notice. I just like smell my hair all day when I'm bored. 
You guys know we love skincare over here. By we, I mean me. It's just me on this channel. I've really narrowed down this category because I have so many favorites and I wanted to just pick top, top favorites. So the first one is this. This is the Clarins Double Serum. This makes my skin so just hydrated and plump. I use this at night, but I also like to use it in the morning because under my makeup, it just adds a little bit extra glow and it's also just great for your skin. There's a lot of benefits to this. I've also been loving this. This is the Ilia Face face milk. It really hydrates your skin and it gives me a really nice base to my makeup for the day. It comes out in this really milky consistency. As you can see, this is another face serum. Kind of random, but I love the dispenser to this. It's like a little dropper and it makes it really easy when you apply it. There's so many benefits to this for your skin and it has a really nice light fresh scent to it. This brand is also just really one of my favorites. Everything that Caudalie comes out with, I really trust. I also wanted to share a little bit of body care skincare. I have two lotions that I've been alternating between. This first one is the Y Body Cream. What drew me into this was simply the scent. I smelled it at Sephora and then I just bought it because it really does smell just amazing. But a cheaper alternative that I also really like is this Mario Badescu body lotion. It's their super rich olive body lotion. This one has a lot lighter scent. So if you don't want anything too strong, this is pretty neutral. I have all of my jewelry. I love my jewelry and I have so many new favorites that I've been liking to add to my stacks. My current ring stack right now are these. I think I showed these recently, but I got these from Goriana and it's this beautiful trio of stone rings. I had my eye on these for so long. So I know this isn't technically jewelry, but I had been really wanting a watch, specifically kind of a vintage gold watch. And I found this one on Depop. I think it was like 20 bucks and it's so pretty. I'm just putting it on right now. Look how beautiful it is. Depop has the best watches. They have so many of these vintage ones. I've been loving mixing my metals recently too. And I love these two earring sets because they have both silver and gold in them. And they're kind of like a twist on the traditional basic hoop. So I've been kind of wearing these interchangeably. These look like the Heaven Mayfair earrings, but they're a lot less expensive. And I found these on Amazon. They're these beautiful knotted earrings. And then lastly, this necklace. I actually really wanted to show this just because I get so many questions on this whenever I wear it. This is this chunky, heart necklace and it also has a little lock on it and i actually got this from target so actually lastly i have these earrings um these are some gold chunky hoops and they're gold filled which is really really nice and i can't tell you where i got them because it's a secret and you'll know soon <laughs> Now we have makeup, which is going to be the biggest category of all of them. First things first, I am starting with this because I cannot get enough of these blushes. I tried this recently and I was so shocked how much I loved it. These are the NARS cream blushes and I don't know if they just came out with them. I just wanna show you guys like how beautifully it looks. It's like the perfect texture and it blends so nicely. Next, I wanna talk about this. I've talked about this on my TikTok before, but it's these individual little lash clumps. Clumps sounds bad, it's not clumps. Basically they look like this. They're just a set of around probably like 10 little lashes and I just take one of them with a tweezer and I'll just apply it to the very end of my eye and it just creates a really nice lifted look and it's really changed my makeup routine. I think you can kind of get any brand, but I think it's nice because it doesn't look like fake lashes. It just looks like your lashes, but better. I know that I'm kind of late to this and this is nothing new, but I still wanted to include it because I've been using them a lot. These are the Drunk Elephant Drops. On days that I don't want to wear like a tinted moisturizer or foundation, I'll use this with a little bit of moisturizer and it just gives the nicest warm glow to my skin. But on days that I do want like a little bit more coverage, I've been liking this. This is the Tower 28 Tinted Sunscreen. It's definitely a lot more coverage than I would have expected, but it like blends really nice. It has SPF 30 in it and it like really evens my skin tone and I'm definitely very picky with tinted moisturizers. Also for setting sprays, I kind of forgot to use them for like a year, but I've been trying to remember to use them recently. This one I've been liking a lot. This is the Milk Setting Spray. My mom got this for me, I think for Christmas, and it's just the perfect setting spray because it doesn't have a weird smell and it actually does 
make my makeup last all day so it's like basically all that I want in a setting spray last but not least I have a few lip products and I wanted to just literally grab my everyday purse because this is where I keep my daily lip products obviously since i'm bringing my purse everywhere with me so i don't even know what's in here firstly we have the ilia lip tint i feel like a broken record because i talk about this so much but it's like the perfect blotting lip color and it's so moisturizing it's like a chapstick material material the tower 28 lip glosses i've also tried recently and this one's really cool because it has a slight tint to it and then obviously this one my holy grail this is the clarence lip oil that you guys know i talk about all the time that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. I hope this was fun. I just love these types of videos and I wanted to do an updated version, obviously, because I have so many new things that I just needed to share with you guys. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.